Welcome to Dakota Starry Nights Workshop. We have here an Explorer Scientific Ultra Lightweight Dobsonian Telescope that I have reviewed here on Dakota Starry Nights. I've had this for several months now and I continue to enjoy it. It's a fantastic scope. It's given me views of planets and the moon and nebula that I never achieved before. I used to own a 10 inch Dobsonian and this one is quite a bit better. That was a Zummel. It was nice. It was actually the first Dob that I bought. But when I stepped up to this Explorer Scientific, not only is it easier to transport and collimate, but the views on it are really fantastic. I really like it. There was a few issues, as you saw in that video that I produced, but once I got those resolved, I've been really, really pleased with this. There was something I had noticed after using this for several months, is that when you're out in the field and you're pushing and pulling on this to get to your targets, uh, which is, you know, normal and natural. Uh, that's the whole idea about alpha as mount in a dog. Uh, but what happens is it tends to get out of collimation. Now, that's due to the fact that there are really just four small bolts or screws down here that hold this cage together, and then there's four smaller ones here. Now, these really work. I mean, they do a nice job, and it's compact and, and what have you, and I really like the ease of way this goes together. But it also means that if you have a 2-inch eyepiece, a coma corrector, I use a tablet with a planetary program to finding what I'm looking for. Really enjoy that. And then using a red dot here, pushing and pulling on this all night, it just starts to rack it a little bit. And you don't need much, you know, just a millimeter, two, three millimeters is all. And that's really within tolerance of what you could expect for these things to hold on to. So this is nothing out of line. It's more of a design issue. And Dobbs are just typically designed this way. It's, that's, that's the whole point of them, the simplicity keep costs down. And so I've come up with an alternative to grabbing onto the trusses or grabbing onto the cage. And this is the Pro Steady Grip Lever. And what this allows you to do is move the Dob around in different directions without ever touching the cage or the trusses. Uh, it also gives you a lot more control and it's more natural because you're right here and you're standing here. And one of the great things about this is to turn in azimuth. Normally you're grabbing it like this and doing it like this and it's a little kind of jerky because you don't have a mechanical advantage as it were because you're right on the same axis as the azimuth. But when you come here to a handle, then to turn it, it's just a simple matter of like that. You see that? And you got nice slow motion control. And usually when you're at zenith, if you've come to zenith, you know how sometimes it could be a little jerky trying to get it to move. But with this handle we have here, we can easily turn this in zenith. Um, guys, I'm telling you, this is really nothing to turn. And it, it gives you a nice slow control. It's also, when you're looking at the eyepiece, and you're, I have a laser collimator in here, but when you're looking at the eyepiece, it's more intuitive to use the handle. See, because you know you just give it a twist here to make it go in azimuth, and you pull it up or push it down to make it go in right ascension. So this not only uh, gives you more mobility or a mechanical advantage when you're going in azimuth, but the most important thing is you stay off the cage and the trusses so you maintain your collimation throughout the night. So let's check out a little demo here. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this collimated and show you the before and after of what kind of effects this has. So here we have the daub and it's collimated. There's the center dot coming off the laser collimator. And we'll move over to the laser collimator. Okay, so there's the laser collimator and the dot is right down the rabbit hole. We're getting an illumination around the hole. So we're perfectly collimated. So let's move the daub around. Yeah, we'd be doing this all night, moving around, moving around. Okay, so that's just a little moving around and now you can see we're out.
the dot is now to the upper side of that hole and we're not getting illumination down on the bottom. Throughout the evening when you're pulling and pushing on the cage, let's shut this collimator off, then you have the weight of your eyepiece, if you have a tablet, a finder, and if you're using a coma corrector, which I do, and a two inch eyepiece, you're getting a lot of weight up there. But most importantly, you're tugging on this all night long. And so that's going to throw your collimation out. And that is where the Pro Steady Grip comes in handy. Because with that, you're not touching the cage anymore. You've got your hand right here, and you're turning an azimuth this way and this way. Very easy, too, by the way, if, especially when you're in zenith. Very, very easy. And then you're lowering it and raising it. So let's go ahead and collimate it back and then try that movement with the Pro Steady Grip. Okay, so we're collimated again. You can see the dot right there in the center of the donut. So we're nice and collimated. We've got the dot right down the rabbit hole and a nice even illumination around the hole. So now we're going to move the dob around using the Pro Steady Grip lever. Be nice if I had an assistant, but it's just me today. So here we are moving the scope around, up, down. You might skip this part, might get you kind of dizzy, but I've got to show you that I'm actually doing it by the uh, using the Pro Steady Grip. All the way around, come around, and look guys, look, we're still nice and illuminated, right dead center. Because we're not touching the cage. The Pro Steady Grip Leather grabs the mirror box and the altitude bearing. And so you're not, no hands on the cage or the truss. Because if you stop and think about it in a minute, you know, if you're pulling and pushing on something all night long and you've got four little screws at the base of it, well, eventually, you know, it's going to start to get out of alignment. And it doesn't take very much because this is a very precise alignment, as you know. Uh, a millimeter here or there is going to knock it off. And uh, I don't know about you, but I want to get the maximum amount of uh, clarity and uh, detail that I can out of the things that I'm looking at. And when you're off axis optically, uh, you're going to lose that clarity. Now we're moving this thing around a little bit more than what I did by hand, but I just want to show you this puppy is really nice. And like I said, what I really, it, one of the real main advantages is that when you're at zenith, it's always kind of hard to turn it. But with this, it's just a lever, see? And you can just really control that uh, pre pretty well. So, okay, so here we are. And there, see? We're still dead on, dead on, evenly illuminated. So, if you're looking for improving your collimation and keeping that collimation, uh, you might want to give this a try. The Pro Steady Grip lever for the Explorer Scientific Ultra Lightweight 12. So to install the Pro Steady Grip lever, we're going to have to drill two holes on the side of the mirror box right here that are a quarter inch in size. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is take some tissue paper and just gently lay it on top of the mirror. No pressing down, just gently lay it there. Okay, so next we're going to cut a piece of cardboard about 13 inches square. And we're going to lay it inside the mirror box this way so that any metal flakes that hit the cardboard will go down and collect down here on the bottom and we'll just vacuum those out. 
Now there are the Allen head screws that adjust the mirror and it should rest on top of those. And so the way that cardboard is situated in there, it's on an angle so any flakes that may be coming off as we drill these holes will go down this way and collect down on the bottom. So now that we have the mirror protected, covered with our tissue paper and cardboard, the next step is to take the template, the cardboard template, and there's an arrow here and you'll see a quarter inch hole here and two smaller pinholes down here. What we want to do is take the quarter inch carriage bolt and put it on the back side of that cardboard and then insert the carriage bolt into the hole on the altitude bearing. So we're going to line that up and put it right through. Then we're going to take a washer, put it over here, and a butterfly nut, and tighten that down. Now this is going to give us the exact location of the holes that are on the Pro Steady Grip. Now once you've got that in there, you want to take a look at this and make sure that it's perpendicular or plumb. And by that I mean you don't want it like this and you don't want it like that. You want it nice and straight up and down. So we'll step back, take a look, and that looks pretty good. And now we'll tighten this up. And now the next thing, we're going to take some tape, double check it, and then put it over the top of that to keep it in place. And now we'll take a 1 8 inch drill bit and keeping the drill nice and level and perpendicular to the face, meaning you know not on an angle, not this way, not up and down, just kind of nice and level, and then just drill right through there. Right through until you get to the other side, and then do the second one. Right through the other side. Now those will be our pilot holes so that we know exactly where to drill the quarter inch holes that will follow. Now we'll remove the template. Now these holes are already drilled because this handle's already been installed, but that's going to be the procedure. Next step, you'll have two little 1 8 inch holes here. You'll take a quarter inch drill bit and then you'll center that right into those little holes and then slowly drill through. And then on the other side, and then you should wind up with two quarter inch holes. Once that's done, you'll take the short screws with the washer and bring them through the rear inside the mirror box. Now you'll only have to do this one time, that is you'll only have to reach into the mirror box just this one time because from then on out you'll be able to put in the Pro Steady Grip from the outside. The next thing is you take these studs and it has a flat part and that flat part's going to go against the side of the mirror box and we'll just put those on the screws there and holding on to the back side with your finger and just get it to where it makes contact. You want it to move around because we have to do, keep it loose until we make the final adjustment. And we'll put it back here. Again, take your stud, put it over, and spin that on there until it makes contact. Okay, that's nice and loose. All right. So the next step would be to take the Pro Steady Grip and you'll have two 3 8 inch holes on the back side of this and that's going to fit over those studs. So we'll slip that right over those two studs and you might have to move it around to get it to seed there and make sure that it's nice and flat okay so now we'll take a washer and put one here and one of the small little butterfly nuts and we're just going to put it on a turn or two that's it we don't even want it to contact 
because we still need to put the quarter inch bolt at the top and we want to have plenty of room to move this around so then we're not fighting it. So now we'll take the carriage bolt and we'll put it through the altitude bearing part way, take a washer and then take the carbon fiber spacer, advance the bolt a little bit more, put another washer on there and now lean the Pro Steady Grip into the bolt and put it through. And always keep your finger on the back side so that it doesn't slide out. And now we'll put the washer over here and the butterfly nut. Okay, so now that we've got that on there and everything is, should be still pretty loose, what we're going to do is we're going to step back and make sure that this is plumb. Take a look at it, and that's why we have a little bit of play in that to keep it nice and plumb. And then we'll tighten these up, or put your hand up there, and that way you can have full access to this, keeping an eye on that, and just snug them so it doesn't wiggle around too much, but still will move if, if you need to, you know, move it one way or another. And that looks pretty good. So now we're going to set the two bottom screws and you're only going to do this one time because once once these are set then those studs will be there and it'll be a simple quick matter of just slipping it over the over the studs so I'm tightening this up it's a slotted screw in the back and you want to make sure that you're seated in the back that you're coming in full contact with the washer okay all right, and now that that's done, now we can tighten this up. So now we'll remove the cardboard, and you'll have metal flakes on top of the cardboard. Now you could try to vacuum that off without lifting the cardboard, but you could also tip the cardboard towards the Pro Steady Grip, and then the metal flakes are going to fall down right here at the base inside the bottom and they shouldn't be on the mirror and just give it a little shake like that and then slowly pull it out and now you're going to take a vacuum cleaner and vacuum the base of that out so if you've got something with a, a flat nozzle like that that'll be good because that'll get in between the mirror and the side of the mirror box get down in there better Vacuum the mirror surface, just keep the nozzle away about, you know, an inch and a half or an inch. Don't touch the mirror surface, but if you go over the top of it, it'll suck up any dust that you might have on top. I usually do this about once a month anyway. Keep any dust from accumulating on there. All right. All right, so that completes the installation of the Pro Steady Grip. It's not that big of a deal. You do have the template, and uh, if you use the cardboard, the tissue paper, and vacuum cleaner, and get it up on a nice flat surface like that to where it's easy to work with, follow the procedure, uh, then you shouldn't have any difficulty. However, of course, it's uh, your call. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like to order one of these Pro Steady Grip levers, I have a link here on the description. Uh, you can pick these up on eBay, and we'll get these out to you uh, right away. So thanks for tuning in, and clear skies.